and welcome, folks, to classic RuneScape. RuneScape, oh, old school. RuneScape. Old school. Okay, classic okay. RuneScape got shut down. So, I have um, something to confess. I never played RuneScape. I wanted to play it when I was a kid. Never got. I tried like getting, asking my mum to help me get it set up in, in junior school. She wouldn't let me, and I never ended up playing it. So I never got to see the old school version. So this is a first for me. Yeah. Whereas I did play, and in fact I'm using my old account from then, but apparently it's storing this data separate from regular RuneScape. So I'm back on the, ch I'm, I'm in the tutorial. Ooh, oh, oh yeah, my, uh, the raggedy shirt. Yeah, Are you using your old design, I'm guessing? Uh, no, because technically the, the character I had was actually made by another person. Oh, I see. Uh, he gave me it. Oh, I see. For some bizarre reason, and then and then he started getting all grumpy later when he re when he thought about it and realized, oh yeah, I'm paying for someone to play a game. Well, no, it it, it was a free account. Oh, let's. Uh... Oh, Jesus! You know what we could do? What we could turn him into put him turn him into the old man. Assuming we can find a suitable shade of that, yeah. Uh, had no hair, I believe the old man has. Uh, yeah, no hair but a beard, and then red uh, attire. Can I keep the raggedy look though? Like, yeah, like that sort of red. Yeah, or? that's our red. That's our red. It's fine. I mean, I mean, the old man was kind of. Well, he had like a. I don't know. It was like a. What would you call it? A cloak or a shawl or. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's see if I can remember the control. Because it's not enough that we've already had one um, Zelda reference today for a recording session. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Stop talking to the guy I'm supposed to talk to. I'm going to open this chest. Yo, I'm still in your shit. Search. Oh. There's nothing in the chest. Okay, fine. I'll talk to the, the guide. Greetings, new arrival to the world of Galnor. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome. Where you're the first thing needed to succeed, talking to people, find many inhabitants, useful things to say. Start by looking at your options menu. Good. Uh, mouse sensitivity, brightness. Yeah. Uh, size, advanced options, run, accept aid. Okay, yep. Cool. Talk to. Making progress. Time for you to meet your first instructor. Cool. Open door. Yeah, so this this is the person who teaches me how to set fires to things. <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of basic, but oh yeah. I mean, well, it looked basic to, compared to now. Yeah, but I was gonna say this, this looks rather more polished than it used to. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, you can tell by the fact that you can actually see the leaves on the trees, oh. kind of. Uh, survival skills, fish. Oh yeah, of course. Thanks for the fishing net. Open inventory. Okay. F use net on fishing spot. Get fish. No, get um, pump. That doesn't look like the fishing spot. That looks like the ground. <laughs> yeah, well, graphical glitches are all. Oh yeah, I got XP, so I got some XP in fishing. Cool. Talk to survival like so. From, from what I've heard from people, this was Skyrim, the early days, kind of. Uh, no, more, more sort of World of Warcraft. Oh the, yeah, the, without all the different races, different Except, playable well, races. I played Age of Empires back in the day at high school, in junior school and high school. Yeah. I caught some shrimp. Now you have, uh, you're going to want to cook them. You need a fire. Yep. Thank. I got an axe and a tinderbox. Cool. Uh, a wheel, bronze axe. Ah. Okay, fine. Cut down tree. <laughs> Let's just poke it. Come on. There we go. And then... What? What the fuck? Uh, tree just respawned. Yep. Use... Use tinderbox. Good. Yep. Light fire. And... <laughs> okay. Use... On... Fire. And I burn them. Oh no! I cook. I cook them right the foot. 
I'm sure it used to be that you burn them the first time. Oh, okay. You burn this shit. You actually burn them. Talk to. Must be just a chance. Okay. Go to the gate. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, of course. Now to make bread. That now now we go to this guy and he teaches us how to make bread and how to use an oven. I thought we were going to say how to make breakfast. It's a bit late in the day for well. Well, it's, it's the middle of the morning. It's early morning. Quite literally. I am Master Chef. <laughs> chef enough. Uh, here, I'll teach you how to cook food truly fit for a king. <laughs> you call that cooking shrimp on an open fire? Oh, no. Shrimp no. on a barbie. I'll teach you how to make bread. <laughs> shrimp on the barbie. Put another shrimp on the... Yeah, uh, flour and water in a bucket and a pot. Uh, use on there. Make dough. And cook. I'm never going to get that in my head. Every time we uh, come across a chef and again, that's all I'm going to remind him of his chef enough now. <laughs> I made bread. Cool. Uh, open door. Uh, what comes next? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's, been, it's been so long since I did this. Well, I've never done it since. So. Um, like, what? A few, uh, about eight years ago. They removed this tutorial mm -hmm. and, and changed it for one that was so much worse. Why do people, where do companies do that? I don't know, but they did. Okay, oh, learn about quests. I don't remember this guy. Uh, let's start by opening your quest journal. Yep. Uh, members quest, not members quest. I'm sure some of those used to be members quests. Oh well. Talk to Guy. Twist. Oh, members quest. <laughs> members quest. Twist a twist. Uh, journal. At the moment, quests are shown in red because I haven't started them. First, I, to start them, I have to find a guy and talk to him. Change to yellow when you finish. Changes to green. Quest in the journal. Display some more info on it. Oh, he's not even talking to you. He's just looking away from you now. Yeah, he's talking to that other guy who just walked in. Quest. Uh, we'll remind you what to do next. Very easy to find quest starts. Look for the quest icon on your map. I love it's like, uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. yeah, what do you want? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. what do you want? Quests, yeah, but from collecting beads to hunting down dragons. I don't remember more about collecting beads, but I do remember more about hunting down dragons. I never managed it. Uh, not more, but, uh, otherwise you can move on. Yeah, go down the ladder. This is where, this is where we learn how to fight. Yeah. Against giant rats. Yep. Uh, oh no, first we learn mining and smithing. Talk to this guy with the rune pickaxe. Must be new around here. What do I call you? Newcomer seems so impersonal. You can call me that. Uh, his name is Desic. He's a miner. Let's teach you how to mine. What you need is a pickaxe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you I got get two, two, two sticks and three uh, pieces of stone and you make a pickaxe. Mine rocks. I got some tin. Mine rocks. I say make a pickaxe. Get two sticks and three pieces. Pieces. Yep. Uh, cobblestone. Mine copper. Actually, I think I think with the the blacksmithing in this, for even for making axes and uh, pickaxes, you don't need. Uh, what's it? You, you don't need any wood. Really? Yeah. I made a bronze bar. Oh, good. Even, well, even for the handle? Even for the handle. Huh. That's how basic the crafting recipe is. Use furnace. Make another bronze bar. Uh, it, yeah, uh, look at the bronze bar. This is real. Does that look like chocolate? <laughs> it looks like shit. Talk to uh, the annoying guy. Here, have this shit. I have bronze. Now you've got bronze. Smith it into a weapon. Hammer and anvil. Some anvils here you can use. The instructor gives you a hammer. Smith Anvil. What, can, what what what's on our smithing list? See, because look, axe one bar, mace one bar. Oh, uh, what? what? I'm wondering what. Uh, uh, he says make a make a, a dagger. So fine. Yeah, because that's really how blacksmithing works. Yeah, totally. You made a weapon. Time to go on. 
Oh my god, it even calls it to Turtle Island. Oh yeah. Yeah, apparently they, they removed it, and then a whole load of, of the uh, more senior players got annoyed, and they basically went, okay, we'll put in a quest that's basically one giant reference to it, and includes you going to the location. Okay. Okay, anyway. Hello. <laughs> Hello, my name is this. Do I look like I care? Well, to me, you're just another newcomer who thinks I'm ready to fight. Well, I am ready to fight. Yes, you, 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 you are a loser who's the greatest swordsman, bloody blah, blah, blah. Is this like those three people in in Cthulhu? It's like, oh, where are they? What was it? Good. I forgot. I even forgot the name of them. Team of Justice or something like that. Yeah. And we just went slap. Okay, stab crow. Oh, you have tears as well. Oh, is that just your uh, equip? Equip. Uh, what? Well, yeah, yeah. So you got gloves, uh, ring, shield, boots, leggings, armor, pendant, helmet, arrows, cloak. Okay. And these are all various kinds of attack. Hey, th this guy's got the right idea. <laughs> He's just poking it for the fence. Yep. Meanwhile. Oh. oh, yeah, of course I have to talk to that sucker first. Yo, loser, talk to me. That little button knife isn't going to protect you much. Let's get you something a bit better. He gives me a sword and shield. A wooden sword. A wooden shield. And a bronze shield. Wield sword. Wield shield. And... <laughs> can I... I should check out. Oh yeah, of course, the combat interface. Auto retaliate, stab, lunge, slash. Oh yeah, of course, it all affects what kind of XP I get. Ah. Accurate, aggressive, aggressive. Yeah. Attack XP, strength XP, defense XP. Yep. So can you stab him for this sort of defense? No, that, I think that guy. That guy had a bow. However, I can go in, pick up all the stuff everyone else has dropped. <laughs> because bones are actually useful, and then pick a fight with a giant rat. We witnessed the thrilling spectacle of combat in RuneScape. <laughs> You'll note how I'm not doing any damage at all for some bloody reason. No, you're not. Oh, look, there we go. He's gonna kill you with this rat. It's okay, I've got these shrimp I can eat. Eat shrimp. Heal some health. Maybe I'll have to eat my bread as well. Eat bread. There we go. Uh, slash. Okay, never mind. He dead. Steel bone. Open gate. Talk to boring person. Couldn't you just steal bones without killing anything and go, look, I killed something. No. I did it, I killed a giant rat. Big whoop. <laughs> you seem better at this than I thought. Let's move on. Next up we have range attack. Oh yeah, now he gives me a bow. A short bow and some bronze arrows. Bow and arrows. Equip arrows. Equip bow. Hmm. Now can you shoot for the fence? Yes, attack rat. And it's then, literally a sitting duck. Yep. And of course, when it dies, I can then go in, pick up the bones, and pick up those arrows. Examine corpse. And that's what I call slim line. <laughs> oh, and spear wall. Rows of shot pointy spews. Only at the rat cage when you say it's. Oh, you suck. Until they got melee combat again. Blah 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 No. Can I open the gate yet? Nope. Oh well. But he just up oh no get open the gate. Yeah, but but of course the gates don't stay open. Wield Oh, what were we learning about? Uh, the banking system. Okay. Uh, because that's 
Oh, I've got money. Withdraw all. This is your bank. You can store things for safekeeping, yes. This is the, the poll booth. I, I don't recognise this thing. Invite to vote on future game updates. Oh. Voting is open to members with a skill total of 300. An update must gain 75% report. A flag appears to let you know when you're invited to vote. Uh... Well, no, I don't have any of that, so, oh well. <laughs> Talk to... account guide. What are we doing 20 minutes? Uh, just do till we get to the end of the tutorial island, maybe okay, have a quick yeah. wander around the starting town. Yeah. Uh, your character is your account. Oh yeah, got bloody bloody blah. Account management, open store, bond power, blah 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 blah, don't care. Uh, membership. It's a world. A world is where you play the game. Blah 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 blah. No shit. Bonds are another thing. You can purchase bonds. If you have bonds, you can redeem them for membership. The bonds can be traded with other players. Alternately, you could use your gold to buy a bond. Okay. So use my gold. Exactly. Uh, inbox and name changer, blah 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 Whole lot of stuff. Move on to the next instructor. Oh yeah, of course this is the guy who teaches me how to what what to do with bones. Brother Brace He's here to tell you all about prayer. Oh open the prayer menu. Talk with him. Uh, this is your prayer list. Prayers can help a lot in combat. Really? Yeah. Oh, you got like the one I've got here. Increase your defense by five percent. Okay, not that good. Okay. But then further down, you've got boosted stats last fifty percent longer. A quarter damage dealt is also removed from opponent's prayer skill. Ah, oh, fair enough. Heals you when damaged and health falls below ten percent. Increases magical attack and defense by 25% and your defense by 25%. Uh, prayer alert. Uh, click it, click it. Uh, active prayers will drain your prayer points, which you can recharge by finding an altar and praying. Most enemies drop bones. Burying bones will gain you prayer XP. That's the only way to gain prayer XP. What about burying bones? Yep. And of course, those, those bones I got from those rats earlier, Yeah. those only give you the tiniest amount. It's able to get you up like the first few levels. After that, you start needing to get big bones or dragon bones. <laughs> uh, it's his. Oh, friend. Oh, now he's going to tell me about the friend and ignore list, which I couldn't care less about. Given that out of the four, out of the five friends I apparently once had, three of them don't exist anymore. Fair enough. And I don't know who the other two are anyway. Uh, blah 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 blah. Yep, yep, yep. Don't care. Oh, almost finished on the island. Show final instructions. Uh. Oh yeah, of course the wizard. Merlin. No. Gandalf. <laughs> Magic instructor. It was definitely Gandalf. Yeah. His name is Tarova and he's here to teach us about magic. Start by opening the magic screen. These are all my spells. Okay. Talk to him. You know about one. You can only cast a defensive spell called Windstrike. Let's try it on one of those chickens. Uh -oh. It gives me some runes so I can cast it. And now I go over here. Find a chicken and. I don't like the sound of this. Of course you don't. <laughs> oh, you're finished. Uh, it'll give me runes when I leave. To the mainland! Are you planning to become an Iron Man, by the way? What's an Iron Man? Um, it's Tony Stark in it. You should go and ask the Iron Man to you before you leave the island. He's standing outside my house. 
Tony Stark made this in a cave with a <laughs> box of scraps. scraps. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, where is this Iron Man? There's an arrow right behind the behind the house. No, that arrow is pointing at the, the wizard. wizard. Talk to Paul. He's the Iron Man tutor. Tell me about Iron Man. <laughs> when you play as an Iron Man, you do everything for yourself. You don't trade, take items, or accept help. You choose to have these restrictions so everyone knows you're doing it properly. You can choose to become a hardcore Iron Man. Hardcore Iron Man only have one life. And your stats will be for... Okay. You can choose to become the ultimate Iron Man. A game mode inspired, inspired by the player Iron No Bank. In addition to the standard restriction, ultimate Iron Men are blocked from using the bank and they drop all their items when they die. You can switch freely between any of them. Once you've left, you'll be able to find his colleague in Lumbridge, but they'll let you switch downward. So, you will let hardcore Iron Men or ultimate downgrade to standard and let all of them become normal people. Uh, have you any armor for me? You're not an Iron Man. The armor's only for. Okay, fine. In that case, talk to. Make me. Uh, yeah, but does that not mean it's going to be hard? Only slightly. But no, if we die, we start all over again. Yeah, armor. Wait. Uh, I'd like to change Iron Man. I'd like to become Ultimate. Don't want to set a bank pin. Okay, fine. There. What? Set. Set pin. Oh. Uh, two. Three. Four. Oh. Okay, sod it. Don't care about your Iron Man ness. <laughs> this Iron Man can go suck it. Talk to Wizard. The only time I've uh, done Iron, uh, no, anything with Iron Man is the Garage Mod episode where me and uh, Danny X. Well, we was pissed in a sandbox and then he just he crossed the server the first time. Then he kept messing around trying to kill me, so I, I just put on the Iron Man mod and destroyed Talk to him several the times. The Lumbridge out. Guide. He's holding a. Oh yeah, of course, the guy who's holding a big staff with a question mark on the end. And he has a load of scrolls for me. And I go... <coughs> okay. And we're done with Tutorial Island, so give it another seven minutes. Yeah, let, let, oh, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, What? Those bones I picked up are missing. Yeah, well, it was only in Tutorial Island, so they're not going to stay out there. Yeah. But, no, well. Let's see. What the heck is that Scrabble room? This? Yeah. This is the kitchen. This is where one of the first quests you can do is. What am I to. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, what's wrong? No, oh, chef. Uh, he's in a terrible mess. It's the Duke's birthday, and he should be making him a lovely big birthday cake. But he's forgotten to buy all the ingredients. Uh, I'll never get them in time. He'll sack me. What will I do? I have four children and a goat to look after. Because, well, it depends what God Always is. Always happy to help a cook in distress. He needs milk and egg and flour. Um, milk comes from cows, eggs come from chickens, flour comes from uh, the windmill to the north. Why is there an imp running around? I don't remember there being an imp there before. Well, that's been like eight years since you last played. True. Yeah, yeah. When I, like I said, when they changed the tutorial system, these were the guys we got instead. Oh. And we got, we got a little cave under the city. Instead. Oh, wait. It, it does... Wait, is that... What? Oh, that's a shield. I'm wondering if the... Uh, Terrible imitation sheep is still. 
There it is. Examine sheep. It look it may it may seem like a sheep, but it most definitely isn't. Why? What is it? Is it wool? It's two penguins disguised as a sheep. <laughs> Goblins. Oh yeah, of course. And there's all these people here, leveling up massively by killing cows. So I'll just come in here and nick all their bones. Take Are these bones. people online? Oh yeah, yeah. Take bones, but use bucket on cow. But uh, why did that not work? Only dairy. Oh, of course. So where is the dairy cows? Well, there's the chickens. Except someone seems to be killing them all. <laughs> Again, for easy XP. Yep. Take bones. Take bones. Berry. Berry. Take bronze axe because it's there. Open closed chest. Take shears. Search chest. Nothing. Okay. Talk to Fred. You're not the one who keeps leaving. Yes, I am. What was that? Uh. He's, he asked if I'm the uh, the one that keeps leaving all his gates open and letting his sheep escape. Okay. Oh. Ah, there, there, okay, there's the windmill. Which is where I need to take some grain in order to make... Um, Bread. Uh, wheat. Uh, so flour. So pick wheat. And there's the eggs. Oh. So now I just need to find a dairy cow. Oh. My run stamina ran out. Well, it's run stamina in this? Yeah, see this? What, what, what which one? The, the, the boot with the two next to it. Oh, yeah. You have a hundred run, and of course, and of course, when it runs out, you start walking. Okay. Like I am now, because I can click that and I'll start running again. We're gonna run out stamina. Yep. Okay. Well, should I, should we finish this quest? Yep. Finish this quest and then we'll uh, yeah. end it here. I think. Pretty sure I know most of them. There, there's the dairy cows. Oh. Well, yeah, the ones that are not in the thing where they can be slaughtered. Yes, yeah, so it said they're in that thing over there where they. Uh, oh, I throw the grain in there. Climb down. Sing. Uh, play the song oh, with wait, storms. No. Climb up. I have to use these levers. Operate hopper. Yep. Climb down. I don't know why there's two levers, because... Oh, well. Uh, use pot on flour. Use bucket on dairy cow. And did we get the eggs already? Oh, yeah, we've got the egg, we've got the flour, we just need the milk. From one of these cows. Oh, yeah, steel cowbell. But that was an option. But well, you can steal this bell. Apparently. Uh, milk dairy cow. Well, that's what I told you to do. There we go. And where's my spell screen? Teleport. <laughs> Since I can't be asked walking back. <laughs> Recharge time's 30 minutes, yeah, don't care. Spell takes a long time long time to cast and will be interrupted by combat, so you can't use it to escape. 
But you can use it to quickly travel back to the castle. Fair enough. Oh, wait. Oh, I appear to have accidentally picked a fight with a man. Is there no way to, to solve this dispute, or do you have no, to just kill I, him? No, I just kill him. By stabbing him repeatedly in the face. <laughs> He's no weapon, is there? No, he doesn't. Mind you, I, uh, for all, I, I practically don't have a weapon in this case. Come yeah, but you have a shield, so every time I try punching you, he just punches the steel, or you just go and stab. Stab. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but he's still dealing damage to me, and I'm dealing damage to him. Anyway, all I get is bones. Bury them. Don't ask how I can bury them, despite <laughs> being in a tiled castle. Talk to Cook. Uh, here's a bucket of milk. Here's a pot of flour. Here's a fresh egg. I brought him everything he needed. He's saved. Do I get to go to the Duke's party? I'm afraid not. Only the big cheesers get to dine with the Duke. Maybe one day I'll be important enough to sit on his table. But I won't be holding my breath. <laughs> oh! <laughs> after we've just, you know, helped yep. you out. Acquired one quest point, 300 cooking XP. And I think with that we're going to leave it there. Cooking level is now four. Yep. But so this has been classic old school Roomscape. We may continue it. Probably not. Probably, but probably not. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, I've been gone. I'm Rewind. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. -bye.